I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of the Valder Beebe show, God Talk. Some people talk to God and others believe that God talks to them. Join us in conversation with authors, religious clergy, metaphysicians, and regular people like you and I and God Talk. God Talk is a podcast available on FM Radio, Roku TV, and online. Subscribe at ValderBBShow.com. You can also subscribe at YouTube.com slash ValderBBShow. Join the conversation of God Talk. I'll see you there. Good day and welcome back to the Valder BB Show. I've got my next guest for you. I've got home improvement expert, Bailey Carson. She will talk about summer home maintenance. And yeah, I know you have a to-do list and let's see if we can hit some of those items on there. Bailey, welcome to the Valder BB Show. Thank you so much for having me. Okay, let's get started because I I can tell we have to-do list on my street when the uh, uh, rubbish people come out. There's so much stuff. There's fencing and there, there's, you name it, it's on my street. So that means we're really active. So tell me some of the top maintenance projects that may be a priority for us. Yes, after a year of spending so much time in our homes, uh, I think everybody's got a longer to-do list than ever. You're noticing more <laughs> and more things. Uh, One project that we always recommend at Angie based on our cost data and knowing it has a great payback is weatherproofing. So much less expensive than replacing your windows um, is putting some caulking and weather stripping around windows and doors. This is going to help you keep the AC in this summer, the heat in this winter, save you on those utility bills all year round. Another idea is thinking about your outdoor entertaining spaces. So I know we're all anxious to spend more time with friends and family, um, and outdoor spaces are are prime for that. So if you have a deck or patio or fencing, think about restaining it, resealing it, or repairing any damaged areas. This is going to help to give it a fresh look, new life uh, for the summer season, and also make it last longer. Those are some good projects, but how do we prioritize our budgets to do that? Yeah, so I'd certainly put things at the top of your list that are uh, going to help you avoid major expense down the line. So some of those less exciting maintenance tasks, by example, if you have a small leak in your roof, just nip it in the bud. You don't want that to lead to something that is uh, causing major water damage and have to undertake a major roof repair or even replacement. Similarly, clean your gutters and downspouts. This can help you uh, reduce the risk of any water damage around your foundation um, or water damage to your roof as well, which can be really costly to take on. So knock those like not so exciting, not cosmetic things (laughs) off the list. And then really consider what's going to bring you the most happiness. So what's going to improve your day-to-day? If you've spent um, so much time in your kitchen, maybe think about what could a fresh coat of paint do to to liven it up or a new backsplash. So those are some lower cost projects that can really make a big difference in how things appear and ultimately lift your mood. So I think it's about uh, prioritizing sort of the necessary and then also what's going to bring you joy. Okay. You talked about backsplashes and I see, especially on a a DIY shows, people putting in their own black backsplash. It's a no brainer, but when do we know when to DIY it and when to call a pro? This is a conversation my husband and I have very frequently. And I often (laughs) refer to a great tip that we have at Angie, which is the three T's. So do you have the time, the tools and the talent to take it on? So I say, Kevin, do we have the time? Can we really research this well? And can we do it right? Second, do we have the tools already? Because it can.
pocket free, purse free, even belt free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.